It's Matt and Essie. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Essie and today we are going to try this one-step tie-dye kit from Tulip. We've done quite a bit of tie-dye projects on this channel. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure to head over to our channel and check them out. Um, I wanted to try this kit because um, I heard so many good things about it. Um, it actually says here it's America's favorite tie-dye. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but <laughs> that is their claim. So here are some of the designs that we can create. And you can also go to their web website, ilovetocreate.com, for more project ideas and inspiration. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, so the kit comes with our little instruction pamphlet. It tells us some different techniques that we can use for our project. We got our rubber bands. We got lots of gloves. One, two, three, four, five different colors of dyes. We have violet, green, yellow, blue, and red. Then we have our squeeze bottles. Oh, these ones actually already have dyes in them. First thing we want to do is to rinse off our mess. We want the mess to be not soaking wet but damp. This will allow the dye to absorb better into the fabric. Next, we are ready to add water into our dye and we are going to fill this line all the way here. Now I am wearing my personal um, disposable gloves because the one that came with the packet is actually too big for me. So this one fits me better. Let's add the water. Then we shakey shakey shake. Now it says in the instruction that after 72 hours, the dye is not as effective anymore. So you want to use this up within 72 hours of mixing. And it also says that it can make up to 30 projects. So that's a lot of shirts or face masks that you can do. I'm sure since the face masks are way smaller than a regular t-shirt, you can probably do more than 30. Now we are ready to fold our masks and I am going to follow the instructions or the methods that are here suggested in the pamphlet. Um, I want to do the swirl or spiral. I also want to do the crumple, sunburst, and shibori. For the spiral design, we just need to choose which part of the mask we want the center of the spiral to be at. I've been doing it on the center for a while, so I think for this time around, I want to do it kind of right here on the side. So we want to pinch that area and then gather the rest of the fabric around it. And you want to kind of keep it flat as you go. As you can see here, I am including the straps while I'm doing this. If you don't want the straps included, you can definitely do that. Here is our swirl. Now let's get our rubber bands. And what you want to do is use that to create a pizza slice. And you don't want your um, rubber band to be too tight because then the dye is not going to be able to get into the fabric. So just enough to kind of hold the fabric together like so. Now for the crumple effect, it's actually pretty easy. You just want to scrunch up the fabric together like so. Again, I'm going to go ahead and include the straps. And I'm just going to get the rubber band to just kind of keep it in place. Again, you don't want it to be too tight. There we go. 
Next pattern that we are going to do is the sunburst. And to do that, we just need to pinch and bind fabric like so. And we're going to do that multiple times around the mask. Alright, there is that. And finally, we are going to do the shibori. For this particular design, we need some sort of roller. I have here a Play-Doh roller that I don't mind getting stained. So we are going to get that and then the mask. And we are basically just going to wrap the fabric around the tube. And then we scrunch it up in both ends and we are going to bind it with rubber bands. Now it's time for the fun part, which is to apply the dye. So you want to get some sort of rack with something um, on the bottom to catch the excess water or dye that you want to put in your fabric because you don't want your fabric to be sitting on the dye because then all of the extra dye will accumulate on the bottom and it's gonna mess up your design. Alrighty, here we go. We are going to start off with the spiral one. I have here color red. Since it's a very small fabric, um, you want to be a little bit more careful on pouring the dye because if you put too much at one time, it's going to leak all over the other slice. <laughs> and then your design is basically just going to be messed up. So just be a little bit more careful since you're working with a smaller um, fabric. Now on to the crumple effect. With this, I want to use color purple right here in the middle area. And then the rest of the mask, we are going to do color yellow. Then here is our sunburst and I want to do different colors on this one. We're gonna do purple, green, a couple reds, and a couple yellows. And then the rest of the fabric, we are going to color it blue. Is the shibori style purple green and red okay and here we are I went ahead and did a couple more masks just so we have more options and the next thing we want to do is cover it up with plastic like so, just so it doesn't dry up. Then we are going to let it sit for six to eight hours or longer for more intense colors. And we'll be right back. The next day we are ready to rinse off our face masks. So we just wanna rinse it until we get rid of all the extra dyes. And then we can take out the rubber bands that's holding it together. After rinsing them, it's time to toss it in the washer with a little bit of soap and then onto the dryer. And here are all the finished products. So here is the spiral design. I actually think this turned out pretty great. You can see over here the center of the spiral and it kind of spreads like that. Um, yeah, I love how it turned out. And then here is the other variation. This is the center of the spiral. It kind of spreads out like that. Love that one too. 
And then we have the crumple effect or crumple design. By the way, if you guys can hear some noise on the background, that's my daughter. She is playing in the room, so there is that. But yeah, for the crumple effect, here is how it turned out. I definitely think that it could use a little bit more of a um, scrunchy kind of um, effect to it. But it's not so bad. Here is the other color combination. Now this set I think is one of my favorites. This is the sunburst one. Um, I think it turned out pretty great. So here is the one with six binded areas. Love it. And then I made one with three binded areas. And here is the Shibori design. Now this is not too bad. However, I think I could have squeeze it a little bit tighter together that way we can get more of the shibori <laughs> design to it you can kind of see it right over here but yeah definitely could use a little bit more of that however um it does look like it is a stripe design and i think it's still pretty cool so in summary, I actually really like the kit that we used. It's great for some easy projects with your kids and stuff like that. Um, the colors turned out good and I love how everything is already set up for you. Everything is already included in the kit and you don't need anything else aside from, of course, the mask or shirts that you want to tie-dye. So yeah, um, I have the link of that product in the description box if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, in the comment section, let me know which design that we made is your favorite. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Essie here. Bye! Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos from us, just click one of the boxes on the screen right now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking Sprinkles the Bear. Also, let's continue to find all over the internet. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Bye, besties!